Hey y'all, welcome to Racing Crafts. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial here. Well, it probably won't be quick by any means. But it is a tutorial that was requested by... Um, nope, by especially Ashley on Facebook. Um, this is the um, roses you asked about. So what I've done is I'm going to show you today how to make these little paper roses here. And I've got several kinds. Um, there are several ways to do it. And I'm going to go through a couple. Um, I got this idea from Shabby Beautiful on YouTube. Now this is not how she does it. I, I changed it up some and I I've done it a little differently. I kind of, I get ideas and then I figure out how to make them work for myself. Um, everybody does things differently. So this is my version of Shabby Beautiful's um, paper roses because she makes gorgeous paper roses and I'm just not that good. But these turned out really pretty and I was asked how I make them. Now, there are two ways to do it. Um, I'm going to hold up. Well, there's three ways actually to do it. Um, I'm going to hold these up so you can see up close. Oop. There we go. Um, this one here, I sprayed the petals before I put the flower together, and that's how I got that look. Um, this one, I just sprayed the glimmer mist on a baby wipe and then I just kind of inked the edges like you would with an um, with a foam pad or whatever. Um, this is this green one here Oop. is um, dictionary print and I'm going to show you how to do that and then I just use some um, I just took a little bit of food coloring and put it on a baby wipe and inked the edges on that. And then this one I got by stamping the petals. And then I went ahead and put it together. Now, you can just do them in white. You could cut them from colored cardstock. Doesn't matter. This is the punch that I'm using. It is the five petal punch from EK Success. It punches a small flower. This is one that I haven't done anything to except punch. So these are smaller ones. Now you can punch them any five petal shape is going to work. So what I have here is I have four sheets of dictionary paper that I have used some Mod Podge and I just glued them together and I'm just going to come in with my punch and punch them. Now if you're going to use actual dictionary paper or book paper you're gonna have to glue several of them together because one sheet of the um, book paper is not going to give you what you need. It's not going to be thick enough. So um, I tried it with um, I glued a piece of dictionary paper on both sides of a piece of cardstock and it works. It's a little bit thicker um, and I, I noticed I had a bit more trouble punching with my punch, but it does work and you can do it that way. I just found it was much, much easier to go ahead and just glue the pieces together. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to take a paintbrush or because mine are smaller, I'm going to use this little skewer. It's just a bamboo skewer like you would use in the kitchen. And you're just going to wrap you're going to put it in the middle of your petal and just push up on both sides. And it's just going to cup your petals. And you're going to do that on all of them. Now, 
These roses that I have done here, my finished ones that I showed you, have four um, punch pieces to them. Now the one shabby beautiful hat, I think she used six or seven, but because I used the smaller ones, I didn't need that many um, layers. So you're just going to go ahead and shape all of your petals. Now I've noticed that sometimes um, the depending on you know how quickly you got the glue down and got the pieces put together or, and, and the adhesive you used, I notice that sometimes um, the dictionary paper comes apart a little bit like this one is and that's not a huge deal. You can either um, just use a little bit of your Zig 2-way glue pen and put it back together or I noticed it doesn't make a big difference on the um, on the flower itself so you don't you can just leave it it's not going to ruin the flower by any means so I'm going to go ahead and continue doing it and you would do it the same way if you were using a you know, the white construction or uh, cardstock or some patterned cardstock or your stamped cardstock. It's going to be the same way. Speaking of, I'm going to show you quick how to do that. Um, Okay, you're going to take four petals here. Now, I found the stamp I'm going to use, I found that I have to do them two at a time. It just happened to be that's how it worked out. And I know I'm kind of bouncing around on topics here, but it's just kind of... I want to get all of the steps caught up because once you decide how you're going to put them together, the process is the same no matter which way you start, whether it's the pattern paper or the notebook, or, I'm sorry, um, dictionary paper, or the stamped image, doesn't matter how you go from there, it's going to turn out, you know, the steps will be the same. So, you're just going to stamp on one side, and then flip them over. You can swap them around so the images are different, but it doesn't really matter. And then you're just going to line up your stamp again. And this is a Hampton Art stamp um, from, um, it's a butterfly set. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. But you're just going to stamp both sides. And I am using um, the Royal Purple Stays on Ink. You can use any ink you want. I'm going to assume. I guess I shouldn't say that because I've only tried it with the stays on, but I don't see why it would make a difference with this technique. And you're just going to stamp both sides. Just like that. And get those out of here. And there are my four petals again. Same technique, same style, and you will do the same exact thing. You're going to come in and you're just going to wrap your petals around your skewer, paintbrush, whatever you use. Just like that. So then we're going to set those aside. And I'm going to go ahead and use the newsprint here. And I've got my um, hot glue gun plugged in and warmed up. It should be good to go. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your first layer and you're going to pick two petals across from each other. Um, say I use this one, then it's going. I'm going to join them with the one across from it. All I'm going to do is take a little bit of hot glue. Let me 
kind of make it so you can see. And I'm going to do it on both sides, just at the top on the edges. And you want to be careful you don't burn yourself. And you're just going to join the two petals together. Okay, and that's what you're going to have. It's going to look just like that. Oops, it fell over. You're going to have two petals on one side and one petal on the other. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to put just a little bit of glue in the middle of one of your petals. It doesn't matter which one. And you're just going to push it in and kind of fold it around just like that. And then you're going to do that to the the other two petals. You're going to do the same thing. Just going to wrap it around. And this is going to make the bud for the center of your rose. There we go. Okay, and that is the bud for your rose. Now you're going to take your next piece and you're just going to put a little lot of hot glue whoops, in the center. And it's going to look just like that. And then got a little glue here I'm going to peel off. There we go. Alright, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to put a little bit of glue in the center. And then what I do is as I push it up and adhere it, I go ahead and fold the very top of the petal back. Now, Shabby Beautiful glues it all together and then goes back and then does the folding and the shaping. But I'm not very good at that, so I just do it as I go. And you're going to do that with all of your petals, just like that. Oops and you're going to do that with all five of your petals here. And it doesn't take a whole lot of glue. The less glue you use, the better it is, the less you burn your fingers. If you've got one of those cool new glue guns with the precision tips, you will be good to go. Alright, so I'm just going to adhere my last petal and get it shaped. Alright, I'm going to take the next layer and you're going to once again squeeze just a little bit of glue in the center and you're going to rotate the way you put it in so that your buds don't line up or your petals aren't going to line up 100%. You don't want to have bare spots. Although you because it's an odd number of petals, you're still going to have some spots on each layer that are not going to look the same. Now, to do the next one, you're going to put the hot glue at the very bottom and it's going to fold more towards the middle than the last layer. So what I do is I push the petal back and then on that joint right there, that seam, is where I put my glue. And then you're going to line it up about halfway up the layer in front of it. 
and you're going to do that on all five of the petals on this layer. This is my last petal on this layer. Just like that. And that is my third layer. And you're going to go ahead and take your fourth layer. And you're going to once again put some glue in the middle. And you're going to offset your petals in the middle and then I don't glue this last layer I just bend the petals up just like that and that is your paper rose thanks for stopping by y'all I'll see y'all next time